just came back shooting a commercial for Sony Australia and I utilized this RS grip ring thing and it's incredible. I use it with the FX6 and obviously attached to my digital photo hook vest and uh, it was great. It turned out absolutely amazing uh, and we're gonna be talking about this one today but we're also gonna be comparing it to the, uh, the small rig one which I had in the past which I don't use anymore because I've got the RS3 Pro and this fits perfectly on here. There are so many features that makes this thing really good specifically if you do have the RS2 or RS3 Pro and I'm gonna tell you the reasons why you might actually consider something like this or why you might actually just you know stick with just the gimbal by itself and uh, this video is actually sponsored by Storyblocks as well but more on Storybox later on because uh, we got a lot to get through with this one let's get into it so the RS2 slash RS3 ring grip is designed by Digital Photo. It can actually power your DJI RS2 or RS3 directly through the included power base. It comes with a whole bunch of things in a nice carry case, including the ring upper and lower, screwdriver, an RE style rosette adapter, a quick release base plate, the two rubber handles on either side, a V-mount battery clamp, the supporting legs, an Allen key, and a 100 centimeter D-tap to Limo two pin cable, all in a price of 369 US. And make sure you stick around to the last important thing that we're gonna be talking about because uh, this one is an absolute game changer and the biggest reason why you might actually invest in a gimbal ring like this. Now, one of the greatest things about this one is that this is actually included into the kit. So this is a quick release kit that actually is designed specifically for the DJI RS3 and RS3 Pro. I think for the RS2, does the RS2 actually come apart like this? Maybe, I think. But uh, if you guys already know, the DJI has this detachable handle here, which you know can slot directly into here. Now, I did have this mounted upside down. You don't have to have it mounted upside down. You can have it mounted, obviously, the correct way. But uh, to you know ensure that my FX6 actually fits on here with the V-mount, battery mounting it upside down just gives me a little bit more clearance now this one attaches directly obviously into the DJI gimbal and then you attach it into this quick release plate that's on top here. Now, when it comes to utilizing this piece here for your Ronin gimbal, now you don't actually have to utilize this on that quick release plate. You can actually set up your gimbal as per normal and utilize this grip and put it on the quick release plate as it is. Plus, that means you can pretty much use any gimbal. So this isn't just specifically for the DJI gimbals. You can use pretty much any other gimbal that you want. All you need to do is just utilize just that one little clamp there or one little uh, quarter 20 mount and you're away to go. You can just put the gimbal directly on the bottom or you can you know, top mount it. It really depends on how you wanna be utilizing your DJI gimbal or any other gimbal. It makes it so much easier and obviously that just gives it much more versatility into what kind of gimbals you actually can use this with. Now the great thing about powering your DJI gimbal is it's obviously, you know, when you have the gimbal by itself and it has that handle, that's where the power comes from. When detaching that, so obviously you don't have any power, but this has a pass-through power and this is pretty much like a two-pin limo here that attaches through a V-mount battery as such. Now it does come with a V-mount battery grip, as we said before, and this is where you're going to power pretty much everything. The V-mount can power the gimbal, the V-mount can power the camera, and the V-mount can also power the the uh, the monitor as well, which you're generally going to have a battery, a monitor, and potentially this side handle here. So this is what's going to be controlling your gimbal. Now, the only thing I don't like about this thing is that it is actually quite close to the handle. And yeah, sure, you can, you know, make sure you slide it out a little bit further so you can actually get your hands around, but it would have been nice if you could actually integrate this within the handle, which I know Small Rig actually do, and obviously uh, Tilta do it as well, and Tilta do a fabulous version, but it is much more expensive than this digital photo one. This digital photo one is very well built and very competitively priced. Now, also, if you do have that DJI extension kit which actually gives you that side handle it actually comes with this thing right here now this is a completely different part of it but if you do have that extension kit you can actually power it through the pins on the side of your DJI gimbal and then you can actually attach it to the handle the handle is extremely useful mainly for the fact that it has pretty much every control that you actually need to control the gimbal press record all those kind of things as well now I do actually generally attach my camera through the USB-C 
on the side of the gimbal, mainly for the fact that if I do need to hit record, I don't have to try and hit record on the camera, I can just hit record on the actual handle itself. Now this handle has a, uh, a NATO rail on here, which you know has that NATO rail supplied with the gimbal ring that you can pretty much put wherever you want. Now, if you have your gimbal attached to the bottom, you can actually attach this top handle to obviously the top, which makes it a little bit easier if you're underslinging it. But I controlled this with the digital photo hook vest coming up from the tassel, uh, the, the easy rig sort of thing. And that pretty much supported the whole weight for me because you know, it all adds up and it all can get you know, relatively heavy. Now, as I said before, this video is actually sponsored by Storyblocks. Now, Storyblocks, if you don't know, has an unlimited selection of curated professional content, which is really suited to us content creators and uh, is obviously what we need for our professional work. So Storyblocks is an all-in-one platform which gives you unlimited selection of curated and professional content. You can pretty much find anything you need for your videos to stand out. And there's over a million 4K slash HD footage clips, templates, music, sound effects, images, and more. With unlimited downloads, you can easily test out different effects, clips, tracks, all those things to enhance your videos to help bring your creative vision to life. Now, I think one of the things that I've been utilizing the most is actually the pre-made motion graphics templates, obviously, because I don't know how to use After Effects like that and create all these motion graphics. Mogut's are really great and you can actually download them from the Storyblocks website. Now, one of the coolest features they do actually have is a Premiere Pro plugin. This will actually help streamline your creative process by bringing the royalty-free library directly to the editing software. You can easily download it into specific folders and you can spend less time switching between platforms and obviously more time creating. Now, thank you for Storyblocks for bringing this video to you guys. Obviously, it's really awesome to have sponsors like that that support my channel to help bring free content for you guys to learn about a whole bunch of gear and tips and tricks and all those kind of things. And if you want to help me out, use the link in the description below, Storyblocks forward slash Jason Morrison. Obviously, it helps you guys out because you get quality content for your professional work as well. But let's get back into the video. Now, one of the greatest things that I do actually like about this gimbal ring is the size. It's very similar size to the Tilter one, but uh, it's obviously a lot smaller than the small rig one. Now, this is the small rig one, and you can see the height difference right here. It is so tall because uh, you can actually fit the Zhuin Weeble 3S on here. The Weeble 3S? The Crane 3S. The Zhuin Crane 3S. Now, that is Crane 3S? It's a Crane. It's Crane 3 s I haven't used it in a while, <laughs> but that is a very, very big gimbal, and it can pretty much, you know, be underslung on this thing. But uh, I haven't been using that one because the DJI RS3 Pro is powerful enough for what I actually use. Now, who exactly is this whole rig for? Why would you actually want to consider something like this? Now, you could pretty much just utilize a camera and a gimbal by itself. You don't actually need this ring, but if you have larger setups like the FX6 or the Red Komodo, and you're actually gonna be attaching a monitor onto it and you know, powering the camera through a V-mount battery. And this is who it's actually for. It's people who want to power the camera, people who want to power their monitor through V-mount battery source. And mounting a V-mount battery onto the DJI gimbal itself isn't probably a smart idea. And it's, you're running out of space and it's, it's probably not the best idea, but that's where you would want to invest in a gimbal ring like this. Now, when it comes to supporting this gimbal ring, like I said, it does get a little bit heavy. So you're probably going to invest in an easy rig, but you don't have to. Obviously, uh, they are quite expensive, but Digital Photo actually do their own version, the Hook Fest, which is, you know, pretty decent quality. I've had it for over a year now and it's worked perfectly fine. And uh, I attached this with that one and it works fine. It's great. It takes pretty much all the weight. Now, one of the most important factors that I actually love about this gimbal ring is the ability to power pretty much everything. And the only way to do that is through a V-mount battery. Well, not the only way, but one of the most effective ways is a V-mount battery. And this actually comes with it. So it's the V-mount battery plate. You chuck your V-mount battery into there, and then you can have USB-C out, you can have uh, DTAP power out, whatever your V-mount battery actually has. The great thing about this thing as well, so this is what we were talking about earlier where you put your RS3 Pro or RS3, RS2, whatever, on here, it has D-tap out. So you can actually power uh, through the two pin limo 
but then also have DTAP power out as well. So it's, it's another piece of accessory that you can actually power. So you can power whatever you really need, like a focus motor or anything like that you would actually have on your camera rig as well. So there's so many different options there and that's probably one of the biggest key factors about having uh, a gimbal ring is because you can have V-mount battery and power your monitor, power the focus monitor, power the camera, power pretty much everything that you need on here to make things work obviously a lot better and easier. So overall, my thoughts on this gimbal ring is extremely positive. It's helped my workflow a ton, especially when it came to that commercial shoot with Sony. Uh, this just took a whole bunch of weight. It made my shots way more steadier because I wasn't focusing on utilizing my arms and just smashing my back through this whole shoot. And I was able to compose a shot a lot better because I had a monitor on here. Plus, with the uh, FX6, I was able to power that through a V-mount battery. Now I know you can power the, it through this V-mount battery but it's, you know it's just a lot easier if I keep the V-Man battery on the FX6 but yeah absolutely recommended link will be in the description below if you do want to check this one out I'll put the link in the description below if you do want to check out the other ones as well uh, it really comes down to price obviously this is the best budget one out there in terms of build quality and the features it actually offers you just love the grips on this it's absolutely incredible you don't actually have to wear you know gloves because a lot of cinematographers a lot of uh, camera operators or uh, steady cam operators will wear gloves because they're utilizing uh, these big rigs all the time and they need perfect grip. This has got grip already on it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.